But we have Peter calling in from Canada, pronouns are he, him, uh, who wants to talk about evidence for God from the geological column. So welcome, Peter. How are you? Hey, how you doing there, guys? Not bad. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, so I actually wanted to talk about the, the flood, Noah's flood. I think there's a, there's a, some good evidence for it. And I actually have one thing that I think is kind of a nail in the coffin that I don't think you're going to be able to refute, but I kind of just want to lay a little foundation if that's okay. <laughs> well, I, so I'm, I'm curious because I'm really interested. And um, when you say that you've got something that I'm not going to be able to refute, um, you know what I can't refute? Oh. Unfalsifiable assertions. Nobody can. Nobody has to. They don't stand on their own just because something that's not refuted. So you've got a burden of proof. It's not up to me to debunk it. You got to make a case. Yeah, no, I'll make my case. Cool. Okay, so so first of all, I I wanted to just talk, touch on uh, the geological evidence. So they find there's a ton of geologic hours and hours I went through of it of uh, land animals mixed with sea creatures all over the planet on mountains. They found hundreds of jellyfish in pristine condition. Uh, Mount St. Helen eruptions. We watched fossils created in hours. I mean, Mount St. Helen erupted in the eighties. Is that the eruption you're talking about? Yep, yep. Uh, okay. And we, that's where where we we saw fossils. You can go look it all up. We saw fossils created within hours. There's a mini Grand Canyon was carved from a mudslide within nine hours. We have trees laid in volcanic rock, like a lot of our sites where we figure are millions of years old. The flood explains how fossil fuels were laid. The Russians dug an eight-mile hole. It's the deepest hole on Earth, and scientists were shocked to find yep, water down there. Um, the, the oxidization of the planet, so we know that there was 35% more oxygen on our planet one time. We know this basically because of the insects and the size that they grew to. The flood describes complete vegetation wipeout, which would explain perfectly how our oxida oxidization went down, as well as the lifespan of humans. We know from hyperbaric chambers that humans can rejuvenate and actually our cells actually <coughs> tend to go backwards. So, and then after the flood, the age started to decline. Um, they estimate, and I've done a lot of research on this, the scholars and the historians estimate the flood would have been somewhere between 4,500 to 7,000 years ago. <coughs> and uh, if you look at the pyramids, the pyramids in the Sphinx, 4,500 years old. The Sumerian, the oldest human script we have, Sumerians, 5,000 years old. Oldest mummified corpse we have, 5,000 years old. Oldest clothing item, 5,000 years old. The oldest holy site we found is 8,000 years old, but it was rapidly buried. And the nail in the coffin is the oldest tree on earth, 5,000 years old. How do you explain the oldest tree on earth is 5,000 years old from an evolutionary standpoint? They estimate trees to be 80,000 plus in age. And the oldest one we have on earth is 5,000 years old. Cool. How do you refute that, Matt? I don't need to refute it. You haven't demonstrated a single I know, thing. You can't. I, I, you haven't demonstrated you a single thing. That. Nothing you said <laughs> demonstrates the proof of a god or a flood. No, it does a flood. Five not not a not a global tree. flood. Aren't you an evolutionist? Not a global <laughs> flood. You know what refutes yeah, a global people. flood? Mathematics. There isn't enough water. That's one of my favorite articles I've ever written, actually. I wrote that for me. And how much water would be needed for no those flood to happen? It's, it's 80, 80 million. No, I can't even remember. I have to, I have to go look it up. It's insane. Um, also, do you know how we measure floods, Peter? With time, you know? Okay. It's a 10 year flood, it's a 100 year flood. The, that's because they are so frequent throughout human history. Every culture that we know of has flood stories because floods are a yeah. constant throughout human history. So the yeah, fact that other cultures, that every single one we know of mentions a flood at some point in their history does not indicate, as Matt is saying, that it is the same worldwide global flood. You understand that, right? Yeah, all those stories, actually, you're leaving out, they all indicate a global flood. And these people were on opposite ends of the world well, at that. Uh, right? Peter, uh, Peter, they also didn't know what the globe was. For them, the, their world was their little geographic area, right? They didn't have satellites. They didn't know, you know, it, Asia and North America weren't in constant contact except when the land bridge was up. You understand that, correct? Yeah, but you understand that they traveled, right? They weren't little people in a little isolated area. They traveled and discussed these things, right? They weren't little isolated populations. These people got around. No, they I were mean, little they isolated populations. I mean, 
<laughs> but in any case, the Earth is about, uh, what, four and a half billion years old, and you think that it's uh, a few thousand years old? I never said that it's a few thousand. What I said is now, the I, oldest I, tree. I, I, I asked a question. Growing. Why are you so hostile? I let you talk and drone on with a whole bunch of shit that you clearly don't understand and don't know anything about for ages, and all I did was say... The Earth is about four and a half billion years old, and you think it's a few thousand years old? Question mark. No, I never said it was a few thousand years That's old. That's why I'm asking. How it. fucking old is the Earth, in your opinion? I don't know. Good. I don't think we can know. How, how could we know? Just because they say it's 14 billion years old, what does that mean? That means no, the Earth is not 14 the billion years matter. old. It's four and a half billion four years four. old, and we know that because we've actually done science on it. So here's my question. If you don't know how old the Earth is, what difference does it make if the oldest tree is four and a half thousand years old? Because trees don't stop growing, Matt. So if a tree is only five thousand Trees stop years growing. Old, I've, got dead trees. I've got dead trees yeah, in my yard right now. Why don't you come down and tell them that yeah, they don't see, stop growing? See, you're contorting, though, right? You know I'm not exactly contorting. You I'm not contorting. I'm pointing are, out flawed true. reasoning from you. I will mute you if you don't stop. But what I asked was... What difference does it make if you find a tree that's four and a half thousand years old? How does that demonstrate that there was a flood just prior to that? How does it demonstrate anything about a flood or the age of the earth? What, how is that tree relevant? Because that tree is dated to the exact period that a flood was supposedly said to have wiped out uh, you, the You're not listening. Of you are not listening. What does that tree's yeah. existence demonstrate? It demonstrates either A, that the Earth is not nearly as old as you think it is, or B, that some catastrophe happened worldwide to extinguish all trees. I'm sorry, but you're, I'm sorry, ago. but you're absolutely wrong. You don't understand what that, what the existence of that tree demonstrates. What the existence of that tree demonstrates is that that tree exists. Nothing more. There needs to be more to say this tree exists and is the oldest because everything before it was wiped out by a global flood. You haven't made that case. You haven't provided evidence for that. You haven't, and by the way, you just mentioned that it, which I'm sorry, but it's going to make you a big fat liar, is that you said it demonstrates that the earth isn't as old as I think it is. You just said you don't know how old the earth is. You weren't willing to say that it was thousands of years old. But when I push back on you to expose your fallacies, you trip up and then you go on to say that the tree proves the earth isn't as old as, as I say it is. Well, you're wrong. And when you go file the paperwork to get your Nobel Prize, I will be laughing. <laughs> I just pulled up my article, my old article too. Yeah. And my back, so this is back of the envelope math, uh, but there's about 332 million cubic miles of water on earth. That's what we have. If you add all the water up on earth and the math for Noah's flood is 813 million cubic miles that you need it just does not work out. Yeah, I, I, I try not to dig into it, and I don't have it all memorized and everything else, but I will give everybody a resource, and it'd be a good resource for the, the previous caller as well. If you go to talkorigins.org, um, or, or just Google Index to Creationist Claims, you will find an exhaustive list of claims that real scientists have investigated, typed up responses to, provided links to evidence shown how and why these things are not um, arguments for the claim. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you think about what just happened, here's somebody who calls in to say, there's this and this and this and this and this and this. It's very clear what happened. What happened is not this individual studied the science and learned what the science says about the age of the earth and these things. All they did was listen to a creationist propaganda merchant to say this and this and this and this and this, which is why it's so easy to poke holes in this and why there's an entire website that exhaustively goes through these claims that they've been trudging out for years. Everything from how much dust there is on the moon. Um, just in the geology section alone, let me scroll up here a little bit. Um, the questions that are there that, that get answered just on geology, wow, I, I'm still scrolling just to get back to the beginning of it. Uh, it's too much. Go, go search. I don't need to read it to you. You can find the website. It's talkorigins.org. And if you think you have 
a defeater for the age of the Earth? If you think you have a massive amount of evidence that demonstrates that the Earth is young or that there was a global flood six to 10,000 years ago, do not call the atheist experience show. That is not how science is done, my friend. If you think you can debunk what actual scientists are saying about the age of the earth in order to demonstrate the truth of the proposition that you are this special creation of a god that flooded and killed everybody uh, in a monstrous act, every baby except for a family of eight, um, cool, you can do that. But don't call me. What, what, happens when, what happens if you convince me and Andrew? Hey, Andrew, now we're convinced that there was a global flood. 10,000 years ago. Doesn't mean it's the one listed in the Bible. Doesn't mean that Yahweh is God. Doesn't mean that Jesus is Lord. Doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. A flood is an actual event that might have occurred at some point in history. We know of countless floods. Most of them uh, are, are incredibly small regional, but as Andrew was pointing out, those people didn't know much about the world around them. When everything in your valley floods, that's the whole world to you. Uh, but if, if you've got something to prove, you better be coming with actual science and not just a bunch of stuff you read from creationists. You can take that stuff and go talk to the actual scientists. It's really easy.